right hi everyone welcome to the new session on infosys logical reasoning question and answers so as you guys know already the logical reasoning is the one of the most important section for the written test of infosys so in this video we will going to discuss about some question and answers of this logical reasoning so before going to the question and answers i suggest you guys try to pause the video for each and every question and try to solve it on your own first and then look into the explanation so that you can able to improve your uh, doing skills by knowing the different different techniques so without any further delay let's get started so yes before going to start our actual question and answers i would like to tell you a few more thing guys so top three commenters on this video to get free access to newly launched prevenster prime so our team already played prevenster prime trailer already so you can able to know what is the prevenster prime is so you can able to get the free access for our prevenster prime so try to comment on this video and like feedback or the suggestion or answers for the upcoming question and answers so try to comment anything in the comment section so you can able to access this prevenster prime you know, we will pick top 3 commenters from there and we will provide them the free access so and also one more thing guys 30 plus companies would hiring soon so try to follow us on our all the social media handles why because we will post all the updates on our social media handles for sure so before going to the live session we will post all the content in our social media handles so that you can able to get the information very quickly and very simply right so try to follow us on instagram whatsapp and telegram and facebook as well so immediately we will get all the post related to various companies like recruitment process or the test pattern changes and everything you can able to access them at in a quick time right so along with that try to join our discord channel so that we can interact with each other quickly and you can able to solve your doubts very quickly with our team in the discord we already have a 10000 plus people in our discord community so you can know what is this so try to follow us on the discord as well so without any further delay let's get started with our very first question look at the screen so try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part so look at the explanation now ramesh started from a fixed point goes 15 meters towards the north so whenever the direction related problems were given just start doing the problem with drawing the picture okay don't waste your time by reading once and drawing the picture once so immediately start writing or start doing the problem okay so north we all know it is north and right hand side east and left hand side west and downwards is south so ramesh started from a fixed point and 15 meters towards north so i am drawing some line towards north so i am assuming this is a 15 meters so and then after turn his right he goes 15 meters for going in this direction north right is nothing but clockwise direction so clockwise direction is this and again he traveled for 15 meters so this is the point and then he goes 10 15 15 meters after turning to his left each time so he turned left each time and travel this distances right so left is nothing but anti clockwise so this is the anti clockwise direction and traveled for 10 meters and after 10 meters again turn left so again turn left and now he is traveled 15 meters so the horizontal displacement of this first line and the second lines must be equal why because those two are 15 15 meters so two were completed 10 15 completed again last he turned again left and traveled for 15 meters so from here again he has to travel anti clockwise so in this direction and he has to travel for 15 meters right so this vertical displacement is 10 meters so in order to travel 15 meters he has to travel here and he has to stop somewhere here so this vertical displacement is 10 and the remaining would be 5 so total 15 so these need to be in a same line why because the horizontal displacement is same so he traveled back 5 meters back so what will be this distance 
10 meters why because the total vertical displacement is 15 plus 10 25 and traveled back 15 so the remaining will be 10 so according to the question he has given that how far he is from starting point so this is the starting point and this is the ending point and the displacement is simply 10 meters so option b is correct 10 meters so just look into the next question so try to pause the video guys and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part yeah everyone done well i think just look at here given below some statements and some conclusions identify the given conclusions are true or not so here some statements are given some conclusions are given so you have to decide whether the given conclusions are true or not based on the input statements so some people will do the con statement conclusions or syllogism concept based on uh, logical venn diagrams and some people will do through tick and cross method both are the best methods if you are a good knowledge about them so i will prefer from my side it is venn diagram so i am little familiar with venn diagram more than the tick and cross so that's why i will prefer this so if you are good at tick and cross it is also one of the best method so you can follow that and you can conclude the conclusions so here i am going with logical venn diagrams so just look at here all pencils are sticks so all pencils are sticks and some sticks are notes some sticks are notes and all diaries are notes so all the diaries said need to be covers under the notes so just look into the conclusions whether they are correct or not we will see some notes are diaries so if you pick some of the notes it will be always present on the diaries why because if all the diaries are notes all reverse statement is sum is always true so conclusion one is correct next some sticks are pencils so just look at here guys all pencils are sticks means all reverse conclusion will be always true so all sum is true so which is nothing but all the sorry some sticks are are common with pencil so second conclusion also true next look into the last one some diaries are sticks so here is the diaries and here is the stick set there is no common intersection area between sticks and the diaries so the relationship is don't know if you don't know any conclusion is wrong so third conclusion is wrong so the answer is only one and two follows so option b is correct so just look into the next question so try to pause the video guys and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part okay i hope everyone done well just look into the explanation now in certain code monkey is written as z sorry x d j m n l and tiger is written in that code so how the tiger need to be written in that code you have to find out right so it's very easy concept if you know how to convert the alphabets to the numerical values for example monkey is i can directly write the numbers as m is 13 o is 15 n is 14 and k is 11 and e is 5 and y is 25 so these are all the techniques you need to know you don't have to write a to z 1 to 26 don't waste your time so we have beautiful techniques in our prime website so try to see them and try to learn these type of techniques so just look into the next one x which is nothing but 24 d is nothing but 4 j is nothing but 10 and next m is nothing but 13 and n is nothing but 14 and l is nothing but 12 so just look at you guys what is the nearest number to the above pattern so 13 is here and 12 is here and 15 is here nearest 14 is here 14 is here nearest 13 so 11 10 so 50 sorry 5 and 4 and 25 and 4 sorry 24 so just look at here i can arrange them like each number sorry the total word is written in the reverse order and each alphabet is decreased by one so this is the technique they have followed so all we need to do is we have to write it down the tiger and you have to decrease by one alphabet and you have to write it in reverse order so 
just look at here how quickly I will do this. So R is nothing but 18. 18 decreased by 1, 17. 17 is nothing but Q. So A, C, D got cancelled. Our answer is option B. You can conclude directly. Why? Because options is given like that. So you can able to solve the problem by using only one alphabet sometimes. So I would like to clear all the statements are correct. Sorry, all the alphabets are correct or not. So E is nothing but 5. 5 minus 1, 4. 4 is nothing but D. And C is nothing but 3. 3 minus 1, 2. 2 is nothing but B. 1, sorry, I. I is nothing but 9. 9 is decreased by 1. So which is 8. 8 is nothing but H. T. T is decreased by 1. 20. 20 is decreased by 1 means 19. 19 is nothing but S. So I will tell you how we will remember this type of alphabets. For example, I told you T is nothing but simply 20, right? So for every alphabet, we will remember one word. T is nothing but T20s. So T20 is the cricket shortest format, right? So T reflects 20. So this is how we will teach our students in our prime so that they can be able to remember this very quickly. So if you want to look at these type of shortcuts and you can reach us on this website. So this is our Prepinstep Prime website and you can able to see all the courses over here. We have more than 100 plus courses. So one platform for everything. And if you become our Prime subscriber, our Prime registered member, you can able to get Prepinstep Nano degree course as well as TCS on remote internship certificate as well. So, and along with that, what we are offering is nothing but popular skills like artificial intelligence, cyber security, and ethical hacking, and everything here. And popular languages like C, C++, Java, Python, which are very mandatory for a lot of companies. So, and if you would like to learn aptitude, we have a separate courses like quantity aptitude, logical, reasoning, verbal ability, data interpretation, and visual reasoning. So you can prepare platform specific as well. And if you want to prepare for company specific like TCS NQT, TCS Digital, and so Cognizant Gen C, and if you want to prepare for Capgemini, Deloitte, all the company courses and the company specific courses, topic specific or the language specific courses we are provided in our Prepinsta Prime website. So as you can see all those courses here and only one thing you have to do, you have to subscribe to our Prepinsta Prime website. So in order to know about the prices here we are. For the three months, the cost is 2499. For the six months, the cost is 3499. And for the 12 months, the cost is 4499. And if you want to get more offers like 24 months, we are this offer for 24 months, 5499 and 36 months it is 5999 and 48 months it is 6499. So this prices will be available up to 10 hours and after that it may increase by our team. So try to grab this opportunity and try to become our prime subscriber. And yes, without any delay, let's get started with our remaining question and answers. So just look into the next question. Try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first. And then we will look into the explanation. So just look into the explanation now. PQRST, UVW are sitting around a circular table facing the center. So just look at here guys. There are eight people according to the data. So eight people sitting around a circular table. So all are facing towards the center means Left is nothing but clockwise and the right is nothing but anti-clockwise. We can know it simply, right? So I'm just trying to insert this data and parallelly I will always look at the question, guys. Okay, P is second to the right of T. So it is a direct statement you can directly insert. So T is here with respect to T, P is second right. Second right is nothing but anti-clockwise. So first anti-clockwise, second anti-clockwise position. So P is here. And who is neighbor of R and V? So just look at here, guys. Who is nothing but recent fellow? So T is neighbor of R, V. So R, R, V will comes at these places, which is 
T is in between R and B. Okay, next. S is not neighbor of P. So S is not neighbor of P means S position is not here. Next. V is neighbor of U. So guys, just look at here. V need to be neighbor of U. If I place V here, V exists between T and P. So I can't place U here. Why? Because U is neighbor of V, right? So there is no possibility for V here. So the only possibility for V is here. Then only I can place V neighbor is U. Why? Because if I place V here, V neighbors will be T and P. Neighbors will be 2. It can't be more than 2. So I can't place U right. So the only position for the V is after T. So this is the places U, V, T, R, P. And just look into the next statement. Q is not sitting between S and W. So Q is not sitting between S and W. And W is not sitting between U and S. Okay, this is the statements given. So whenever you are end up with this type of messy statements, try to look at the question answers first. So which two of the following are not neighbors? So these following pairs will never be the neighbors. This is the question they are asked. So look at the options R and B. Are we are neighbors? No, R and B are not neighbors. So option A itself is your answer. You don't have to go for all the data guys. So look at this question. They have given a huge, num huge amount of data and they are giving you confusing statements. But when you look at the question, it is very simple and it depends on this statement. See, T is neighbor of RV. So T is between R and V. So R and V will never be the neighbors. So based on the one statement, we can conclude the answer sometimes. So just look at the remaining R and P are neighbors. So this will be not your answer. And U and V are the neighbors according to the statement of third statement. So this will be not your answer. Q and W might be the neighbors, may it not be the neighbors. You don't have to do the complete answer. Why? Because here it might be the possibility, it may not be the possibility according to the question. But R and V are not neighbors is the perfect answer you know. So you don't have to know about this last option. So based on the fixed data, I can conclude A is RV is not neighbors. I don't have to predict the answer which is QW. For your sake, I am doing this. So S is not here. So you can place S here and you can place W here and you can place Q here, right? So Q and W are neighbors here. Actually, when you solve these two equations, you will get this arrangement and Q and W are neighbors. So this option also got eliminated. You can do, but why we have to do even if you are having a simple question based on only single statement. So just try to look at the question and answers clearly and try to solve them easily. Don't go for the complex solutions. So this will give you the idea how you can reduce your time in your examination. So we'll always follow these type of rules and the shortcuts in our website, Prepinsta and there you can compare your analytical skills or analytics and the speed with the other people. Just look at here, for example, I am taking Infosys percentages quiz and randomly attempted one question. So you can able to see the analytics here, guys. So when you look at the analytics, I have randomly attempted one question and see in the analytics, you can able to see how many people attempted before you, how many people attempted after you and you can improve your skills to make yourself in a good zone. So if you want to clear any particular written test, you need to be in a particular top 15 percent zone, right? So see, these type of analytics will give you the confidence. And if you need to improve yourself also, it will give you the idea where you are and where you have to reach. So meanwhile, my team will play a video on analytics, how to go through the analytics and how to compare yourself and how to improve yourself. So all depends on analytics, right? So my team will play you the analytics video. So please try to watch that and try to follow that so that you will improve yourself.
so yes the video is completed of the analytics so you can learn something right so you can improve also if you are one of the subscribe to our prepinsta prime and prepinsta websites so just look into the next question so try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part so just look into the explanation now the directions is given as each question followed by two statements question marked as one and two and mark the correct answer so just look at here guys some statements are given as the options a b c d so you have to choose the one of the option as a correct so just look at here the options i will tell you first if the question can be answered by using either one of the statement alone but cannot be answered by using the other statement alone so this is the case if you are able to solve by using any one of the statement and one is alone second is not alone is sufficient you have to choose option a and if the question is can be answered by using either of the statement alone so if you can use statement one alone or statement two alone either or case you have to choose this option b and if the question can be answered by using the both statement together but not answer either of the statement alone so if you are using the both the statement to answer the particular question you have to choose option c and if the question cannot be answered by even using the both the statements together you have to choose the option d so just look into the question first and based on that we will choose the corresponding option so what is the value of x so what is the value of x is nothing but first i am taking one statement here x cube is equal to one if x cube is equal to one x is equal to again plus one why because if it is a even power square or for example x square x power 4 your x value will be plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 1 for the square terms or the power 4 terms why because if that i if that is even you have to take like this but if it is a odd power you have to take always plus 1 right so x value is plus 1 so i found the value of x even i don't want what is the perfect value of x is not required can you able to solve the x value or not is the major thing so yes with the statement one alone i am able to solve this question next look at the statement alone look at the statement two alone so modulus of x equal to one so if modulus of x is equal to one now tell me what is the x value x value will be might be plus one or minus one so here also i can predict the value of x why because x is either one or two sorry either plus one or minus one and x is belongs to real numbers real numbers is nothing but real number timeline is nothing but from minus numbers to plus numbers so it is also consisting of minus one and plus one so x value is also existed in this real number uh, timeline sorry number line right so simply from the statement 2 alone also you are getting the x value either it may be 1 plus 1 or minus 1 it doesn't matter you are getting the answer right so by using statement 1 alone you are getting the answer and statement 2 alone also you are getting the answer so option b is correct both the statements either or alone is sufficient to answer this question so option b is correct so look at the next problem Try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part. Okay, I hope everyone done well. Just look into the explanation now. Pointing to a lady, a girl said, she is the wife of, the only brother of, the father of, my sister. How the lady related to the girl? So, how the lady is related to the girl, you have to find, right? So, just look at here, guys. In order to do these type of problems, don't try to draw any ink family tree diagram oriented pictures start with my my sister's father sister's father is the father why because sister's mother is mother sister's father is father this is a joining statements so my sister's father is my father and my father's brother only brother so my father's brother is my uncle and my uncle's wife, uncle's wife is nothing but 
my aunt so she is my aunt is is acts as equal to so if you would like to know all these stuff about blood relations please try to watch the blood relations sponsored in our prime so you can able to get this logic very easily so she is my aunt so this is the answer we will get very easily so remember start from my and go backward and stop at is so that answer is concluded so she is my aunt so the girl is saying that she is my aunt so lady is related to girl as aunt if the question is asked in a reverse direction then answer will be a different thing like nephew or niece based on the gender so here girl right so it will be niece yeah option c is correct aunt for this question so just look into the next question try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part okay so just look into the question now guys now i'd like to explain you very simply here there are certain diamonds in a shop the first thief came and stole half of the diamonds plus two and second thief came and stole half of the remaining plus two again third thief came and he also stole half of the remaining of the diamonds and plus two while the fourth thief came and stole half of the remaining plus two there is remained no sorry there remains no diamonds how many diamonds were there originally so this process is repeated for four times and after the fourth time the no diamond was left right so i am just creating some equation to do this so for the first thief second thief third thief and fourth thief so first thief came and stole some diamonds and plus two right so what is the left diamonds so he has the half of the diamond so i am assuming total number of diamonds is x so x by 2 is taken and along with plus 2 right so he is taking plus 2 means the left will be minus 2 so this is the remainder which is called as left diamonds so second second thief also came so now i, I am assuming the left diamonds is a after first thief stole in the diamonds so now second thief came and the left diamonds are a again he is stalling a by 2 plus 2 so the left will become a by 2 minus 2 so i am assuming that it is b so again third thief came and he is stolen half of the remaining diamonds and taken two extra so what is the left is nothing but i am assuming that left is b and he has taken half and also taken two additional diamonds so the left is nothing but b by 2 minus 2 so these are the left diamonds i am again assuming it as a c again for the fourth thief also it is repeated so i am just writing aside here why because we are running out of space so fourth one so c is the left after third thief theft the or the stolen the diamonds right so it is c by 2 and also taken two extra right so we have left with half minus 2 and this is equal to 0 why because he said at the last we remained with no diamonds no diamond means equal to 0 so start doing this type of puzzle oriented problems in a reverse direction so that you can able to solve the problem very easily so c by 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 then c will be 2 went to other side it will become plus 2 so 2 twos are 4 so c value is 4 if c value is 4 then what is the b value again substitute sorry again simplify this so b by 2 minus 2 is equal to c value 4 so again b value is equal to 2 went to other side it will become 6 6 twos are 12 so b value is 12
if b value is 12 i am just writing here for your rough work guys just look at here b value is 12 then b is nothing but the diamonds left at second theft right second thief so a by 2 minus 2 is equal to b so which is nothing but 12 diamonds so again a by 2 is equal to 14 that implies a is equal to if you multiply 28 so this is the diamonds left at the first person after theft right so do it again one more time which is x by 2 minus 2 is equal to the a value so that's why i have equalized all these statements guys see x by 2 minus 2 is equal to a simply so again a is nothing but 28 so 2 went to other side it will become 30 so if you multiply with 2 it will become 60 so x is equal to 60 so this is the total diamonds option b is correct so if you take the total diamonds as 60 if you repeat this process and you will end up with zero diamonds so whenever you are facing this type of problems you have to think in a reverse direction so that it will give you easy answers so i hope everyone understand this so just look into the next question try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then look into the explanation part just look into the question find next pattern of the following series so guys whenever this type of patterns are given uh, mostly uh, first uh, position letters or second position letters third position letters will have an interrelated problem or interrelated relationship right so just look at here d is become f f is become h so d is nothing but i am writing here d f h so d is nothing but 4 f is nothing but 6 h is nothing but 8 4 6 8 next will be 10 10 is nothing but j so our answer will be started with j so option c got eliminated why because 4 6 8 even terms so just look at here c c is nothing but 3 e is nothing but 5 and g is nothing but 7 3 5 7 so next letter will be 9 9 is nothing but i so option d got eliminated option a got eliminated our answer is option b j i r q very simple so if you know the alphabets values which is a numerical values so you can do this type of problems very easily within the seconds okay so if you want to clarify the remaining positions also i will do that so x is nothing but 24 and v is nothing but 22 and t is nothing but 20 so it is decreased by minus 2 so next will be 18 so 18 is nothing but right to vote r so yes matched and just look into the next one w 23 u is 21 and s is 19 next will be 17 17 is nothing but simply q so yes it is exactly matched with the answer option b so in the letter series and letter patterns if you know the alphabet to number conversions the problems are damn easy and you can do it in very less time when compared with others so just look into the next question try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part okay guys just look into the explanation now among five friends j is taller than d so j is taller than d but shorter than v and m so j is shorter than v and m and is nothing but our body is nothing but the information related to again first person right so the information related to j only so v is shorter than only r so v is only shorter than r means all the people are shorter than v only why because v is only shorter than r means v is the second tallest person so all the remaining people like what is the relation between v and m again m comes after v so v is taller than m shorter than m sorry m is shorter than v and we know already the relationship between j v m and sorry j v m and d so here we can write it as like this so how many five people right so five people are aligned very perfect just look into the heights the height of the second tallest person is 130 second tallest is v 
so v is 130 meters sorry centimeters and the second shortest person is 105 second shortest is j which is 105 centimeters what is the possible height of m so guys just look at here here the case is greater than tallest than shorter than not shorter than r is equal to taller than r equal to so there is no possibility of equality right so what is the possible height of m is nothing but it is always between 130 to 105 it is in between 130 to 105 so more than 130 is not allowed and equal to 130 also not allowed and equal to 105 also not allowed why because there are taller than or smaller than not shorter than r is equal to taller than r is equal to so the answers must be in between 130 to 105 like if it is given as integers it will be 129 to 106 so the answer is 125 correct it is a possible height it is not the exact height of m it is one of the possible height of the m and all the remaining options are not a possible cases so option b is correct so yes just look into the next question so try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first guys and we will see the remaining explanation of this question yes okay just look into here if pencil means paper and paper means eraser and eraser means roller and roller means pencil what is the what is used to erase something so just look at here guys whenever called as given you have to move forward whenever means is given you have to do reverse direction answer so what is used to erase something is nothing but eraser eraser means paper so the answer for this particular question is paper all you need to know very simple short technique that is whenever means is given you have to travel back for the answer whenever called as given you have to move forward so eraser means paper right so answer is paper correct yes this is the end of the session guys of the question and answers so again i am telling you few things remember try to comment on this video below of this video like question and answers answers or feedback or suggestions or the compliments i am happy to receive the compliments as well so try to comment on this video and you will get free access to our newly launched preprinsta prime so for those who commented as top three commenters of this video will get this access so top three commenters will get the access to newly launched preprinsta prime so try to comment on this video don't forget that and try to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all our social media handles as well so just look at here guys 30 plus companies hiring soon so we'll update all the uh, companies related information and recruitment or the registration process or the patterns all on our social media handles first and then we will come to the live so in order to get the information quickly and very simply try to follow us on all our social media handles like instagram discord facebook and whatsapp and telegram so thank you so much this is the end of the session bye bye